Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. I already did my brows as you can see. So, and I did my hair also. So this makeup look is to go with my hair that I did. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna post first, if the if I'm gonna post the hair or the makeup, but whichever whichever one I post first, y'all will see anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face because as you can see I don't have much moisture going on on it and to do that I'm gonna be using my Nivea cream which I love so much so I'm just gonna take some out and put it on my face like that and then rub it in I'm also going to go ahead and prime my face at the same time. So I'm going to be using this Garnier skin cream or serum cream, sorry, to prime my face. And I'm going to try to get through this video as fast as I can today for you guys. Normally, I would start off by doing my eye, not all the time, sometimes, but today I'm going to go ahead and start off with foundation, and this is the foundation that I'm going to be using, my True Max by L'Oreal. I think the reason why I'm starting off with foundation today is because, like I said, I want to get through this really fast for you guys, so whatever works for me. <laughs> And as you can see, I didn't put the foundation on my face before blending it with the sponge. I just used the sponge to put it on because, like I said, I'm in fast motion. I'm in fast motion today. I got a lot of stuff to do, so I got to get through this. Next, I'm going to contour my face with my Fenty Stick uh, contour that I have right here. Um, if only it would focus. Anyway, it won't focus, so we're just going to pretend it did. And I'm just going to add it in these little places right here and blend it out using the same with sponge. Now I'm going to go ahead and add concealer and the one I'm using is my Tarte concealer that I use all the time. As you can see, I didn't put none on my lid, but right after I'm done with under the eye, I'm gonna go straight on top of my eyelid with what I have left on the sponge. And All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm going to be using the same 
blending sponge, the same wet sponge that I've been using to do it. And everywhere that I added the concealer, I'm gonna go over with this. Including on top of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna just go over my entire face with what I have left on the sponge. Just like that. I'm gonna also go in with my Morphe bronzer right here. But I'm gonna add it on my cheekbone, my forehead, and so on and so forth. Just to bring some warmth back into my face. <laughs> I'm also going to use it to contour my nose. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the setting powder on my eye to set this area while I do my eyeshadow. And I'm gonna add some right here too. Just like that. And while that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. As first color, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe bronzer on my eyelid. To do my eyeshadows today, I'm going to be using this palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And this is what it looks like in there, guys. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here. And then I'm going to move on to a different shade. So the same place where I added this um, bronzer is where I'm going to be adding this. But just blending them together. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some color and I'm going to start off using this purple right here. <laughs> I 
Now I'm gonna go in with this shade and then this shade. The color I'm using right now is this one. Then I'm gonna use this one in between it and the purple. I'm gonna use that lighter, well, that darker one right here to blend these two together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here. Now I'm going to add my last shade, which is the white right here, onto my eyelid. Alright, so now I'm done with my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm not done with my eyes. I'm done with applying shadow, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner on them now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on. I'm gonna go ahead and use my big fluffy brush and dust away all this powder on my face and while I'm doing that I'm gonna use my MAC skin finish on my face also So the blush I'm going to be using today is from BH. Oh Lord Jesus, come on now, come on. The blush I'm going to be using today is from BH Cosmetic. It's this one right here. It's called Blushing in Bali. And I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm just going to blend it going into my concealer. You know what I'm saying? Like they say you should do it on Instagram and TikTok for real, real. I mean, I did it like that the other day and I like it. So I just thought I'll continue doing it that way for now. Oh, this one is very bright. I'm going to have to tone it down some. So because I felt like it was too bright, and I wanted to tone it down. I just used the same brush um, that I used to apply my skin finish onto my face and pat over it. And I didn't apply anything more to the brush, just used the brush with whatever was on it. Now I'm gonna apply some highlighter from the same palette. And the one I used the other day, I really like it, but it's upstairs in my room. I'm not gonna go for it now. I'm gonna just use this. I've been using this for a long time. It's nice also. I'm also going to apply some onto my nose, like that, and here, Good. 
and a little bit right here just like so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip liner and eyeliner and the lip liner I'm using today is this one from Il Maquillage I use it quite a few times in my videos so I'm gonna use it today I also use the back of it to smudge the lip the lip liner out. Now I'm going to use this lipstick from NYX. Now I'm going to apply some setting spray and finish it off. And I'm going to go change now and show you guys the finished look with my hair down and all. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I'm just going to go ahead and close my eyes a little bit so you guys could see, you know, all that's going on on my eyelids. I hope you guys like this look. I worked so hard to achieve it and it turns out just as good as I was expecting it to. I actually made my lip a little bit darker just because I did not um, like the way it looked so I added a darker uh, lip liner on it while I was off camera and changing. Again the hair i did today and i did the makeup for it so definitely check out the hair video and see how i achieved this look um if you have any questions or comment or concerns please leave it down below and i will get back to it as soon as i possibly can if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that also if this is your first time on my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye